Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday. Rainy, rainy, rainy Tuesday to, out there today. Uh, maybe some snow later on. I'm supposed to get a trace uh, here in Wausau, more out west. Uh, six to eight is what I heard uh, for like the Eau Claire area. So I'm glad it's them and not us, right? Um, anyway, uh, check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you continue to be safe and healthy and well. Uh, leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I have my coffee here. Good on a, on a cold, rainy day. Some hot coffee, right? Cheers, church. Ah, yes, delicious. So today, November 10th, excuse me, I'm going to adjust the uh, table here. November 10th is uh, Martin Luther's birthday. So on this day in 1483, Martin Luther was born. So happy birthday, Martin. Uh, also, uh, for our devotional today, since I used the one from Richard Rohr yesterday, I'm actually doing uh, this one from Christ in Our Home, but it's the devotional for yesterday, for Monday, uh, just because I kind of like it better than the one for Tuesday. So yeah, um, today's uh, devotion is from Christ in Our Christ in Our Home, written by Bethany Ringdahl from St. Paul, Minnesota, uh, where she lives with a, her sweet husband and a sweet baby. Bethany is, Bethany is the mission developer, mission developer for Hostel for Seeking Souls, a new church for people who are eager to improve our country's immigration system. And they're praying about providing short-term housing for asylum seekers. And our scripture reading for today is... Uh, 63, Psalm 63. And this uh, the little uh, title above this psalm says, Comfort and Assurance in God's Presence. A Psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. Psalm 63. O oh God, you are my God. I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call on your name. My soul is satisfied as with a rich feast. My mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I think of you on my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my help. And in the shadow of your wings, I sing for joy. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. But those who seek to destroy my life shall go down into the depths of the earth. They shall be given over to the power of the sword. They shall be prey for the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by him shall exult, for the mouths of liars will be stopped. And the devotion for today is titled, well, actually yesterday was titled, oops, wrong one. There we go. Christ in our home. Claiming and seeking. And the uh, theme verse is verse one. O oh God, you are my God. I seek you. And Bethany Ringdahl writes, when I was in college, I experienced that young adult rite of passage, the crisis of faith. I learned that the Bible was more complex than I had imagined, and I wasn't sure what to believe anymore. I went home on break and told my parents I wasn't sure I could be a Christian. When I came back to school, I was still scheduled to serve as a reader at chapel. The psalm was the first reading assigned. Standing at the, I'm sorry, this psalm was the first reading assigned. Standing at that lectern, I read, O oh God, you are my God, I seek you. The words gave me shivers. Was this possible? Could I claim the God of, my, of the Bible and of Christian faith as my God and still be on a journey of seeking? This first became my refrain in the years to follow. Oh God, you are my God. I seek you. There was so much I was unsure of, so much I'm still unsure of. But God has claimed me in my baptism. God will be my God no matter where I wander on my journey. I have a sure foundation from which to do my seeking. Thanks be to God. 
We are people of faith, but that doesn't mean that we are always strong in our faith. There are times when I waver in my faith, perhaps, probably, maybe you too. I read of one theologian who said uh, something like, there are times when I'm 49% atheist. There are times, right? Sometimes faith is really a struggle. But remember, the biblical story of God renaming Jacob Israel. Israel means one who struggles with, one who wrestles with God. So our struggles in faith or with God are not new, but are in fact biblical. And so is the promise that God is our God, no matter what, no matter where we may wander, no matter how much we struggle, no matter what. God is our God, and that is good news. So be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well and dry. <laughs> Wash your hands, wear your mask, practice physical distancing, stay home as much as possible. These are ways we show love to our neighbors and share the light of Christ. So let's pray. Oh God, open our eyes to find you in every corner of the world. Through Jesus Christ, amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.